Seoul is the capital and largest city in South Korea. It's considered a mega city because it has a population of over 10 million people. Seoul also has the third largest metropolitan population amongst Asian cities and is the fifth largest in the world, with 26 million people. Seoul has been continuously settled for over 2,000 years. Due to the fact the capital area occupies a plain in the Han River Valley, it contains some of the most fertile land on the Korean Peninsula. Although relatively little of it is used for agriculture today, the framework for modern day Seoul began to emerge as the construction of electrical facilities such as railroads, streetcar tracks, parks, waterwork systems, schools and hospitals commenced at the end of the 19th century with the opening of the port. By the 1950s the population was around 1 million people which grew tenfold by the end of the century. During the 1960s and 70s, Seoul experienced serious urban issues due to the extensive population inflow, such as traffic congestion, environmental pollution, formation of illegal settlement areas, and housing shortages. However, in just 50 years, Seoul has managed to turn this around by resolving various urban problems to grow and advance into a smart city where 10 million people live comfortably today. And it's considered one of the greenest megacities in the world, with 27.8% public parks and gardens. This can be considered a major accomplishment for any city, especially for Seoul, which ranks number 7 in the most densely populated cities in the world. In comparison, Tokyo only has 7.5% green spaces, despite having less than half the population density of Seoul City. In this video, we are going to show you how Seoul City has transformed a traffic congested multi-lane highway by restoring 5.84 kilometers of riverside into a walkable urban green space. And we will show you how this green mega project has increased biodiversity by more than 600%, making the Chengi Chong River restoration one of the most successful urban green mega projects in the world. So stick with us as we dive into today's video. The Chonggi Chong is a small tributary of the Han River flowing from east to west that used to be a drain and flood protection for the old city centre. It was once a focus of everyday activities for many residents who used it for washing and recreation. Chonggi Chong means clear water stream and the river was at the heart of city life with traditional holiday celebrations regularly held around the central bridge. However, amid Seoul's rapid urbanization in the 20th century and post-war economic growth driven by commercial industrial enterprises, Seoul's population began to boom, with increasing numbers of rural people migrating to urban areas. By the mid-1950s, the Chonggi Chong was so polluted, city officials decided that the river should be paved over, completely hiding it from view and a sewage system was to be installed. This symbolized progress and modern engineering at the time. Between 1967 and 1976, a multi-lane elevated highway was constructed over the river, which was buried underneath concrete tunnels, hiding a former part of Seoul's cultural life force. In the two decades from 1975 to 1995, Seoul's population increased by 44% from 6.8 million to 9.8 million residents. And the Chonggi Chong Expressway Road, which ran through the heart of Seoul's old town, became one of the busiest places in Seoul city. It was the heart of 60,000 businesses and 200,000 shopkeepers, with a floating population of 1 million people visiting per day. And by the early 2000s, a daily average of 180,000 cars passed along the freeway every 24 hours, and the Chonggi area recorded the highest levels of noise and congestion in the city. The sheer volume and the ever-increasing pressure on the expressway meant that by the 1990s, the whole system of concrete tunnels and roads were deteriorating. An engineering survey revealed structural weaknesses and indicated a need for a costly renovation project. After 40 years, the roads of the Chonggi Chong Expressway could no longer take the strain of the megacity Seoul had become. Seoul city government was faced with a choice. They decided against reinvesting in congested traffic infrastructure. Instead, 
the city government opted to demolish the roads and restore the flow of the river in order to improve the environmental and aesthetic state of the downtown area. On January 1, 2003, a two-year restoration project to restore 5.8 kilometers of the Chonggi Chong River began, which employed 700,000 skilled workers and cost nearly $1 billion. The river was re-exposed and made the focal point of a larger urban renewal effort to revive the ecology, culture and history of Seoul. During the construction, there were several projects involving local communities, such as tiles made by local school children. Traffic was rerouted and bridges were built across the river. Public parks and recreational spaces were also created. Sites of historical and cultural importance in the general vicinity were renovated. The project was completed two years later in 2005. Ever since, millions of visitors have flocked to the site, and the river has become an important attraction again, where art and music events are held. As a result, investment in the downtown area has increased dramatically, with new housing and developments, and businesses opening up which has created more job opportunities in the area. Moreover, the reduction in traffic has resulted in a significant improvement in air quality. Small particle air pollution has reduced by 35%. Before the restoration, residents of the area were more than twice as likely to suffer from respiratory disease as those in other parts of the city. And there has been a reduction in the urban heat island effect with temperatures in the river corridor 3 to 4 degrees Celsius lower than areas only 400 meters away. And wind speeds are on average 50% higher than before the river was recovered. These are important benefits for climate adaption, in addition to the increased resilience against flooding when a city has open water courses. These improvements in environmental conditions have been accompanied by the return of several species of birds fish and insects to the restored Chonggi Chong River. The increased overall biodiversity is said to be 639%. And these results have proven that by increasing urban green spaces in cities and by removing toxic highways, it is not only a benefit to the economy, but also greatly improves the health and well-being for those visiting the spaces and living around them. But green spaces cannot thrive and function well without the biodiversity that exists within them, which at times seems to be an afterthought in many urban green planning projects. Seoul's River Restoration managed to successfully provide habitat for insects, birds and fish and other wildlife in an already densely populated city, which can be considered a major accomplishment. The success of this project has attracted the attention of cities elsewhere, making it an inspiring model for other urban renewal efforts, especially expressway demolition projects and river restoration.